Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, and it is all about sport this morning. We've been talking about para bobsled and, and skeleton, and now we switch our, uh, our focus over to Nordic, and I'm so thrilled to have Adam Loomis here in our studio. Hey, thanks for having me Great on. to have you here, Nordic combined athlete yep. and uh, all around awesome guy. So uh, we're talking about the Drive for 25, and uh, this has been something that we've been we've put a little focus to this year. We're excited for you guys. It's uh, really all about getting the money necessary to train to compete with Nordic athletes who have all kinds of money on the European side. Yeah, exactly. Um, in the U.S., we, we're not relying on government support, um, but we're competing against um, teams where Nordic sports are huge, and that's what their countries. Um, really believe in and here yeah. in Park City that might be the case so that's why we're um, we're tapping the community here um, and we're doing a big fundraising push right now the drive for 25 where we're um, we're looking for donations we're just asking for $25 or more from basically as many people as we can and really, really smart having the community um, outreach and getting as many people involved as possible is the goal of the drive you know, it, you guys have been doing a good, a good job of that too, because these uh, we've already seen some beginning numbers here. As we're about halfway through, and Utah is what number three? Yeah, Utah is the third highest uh, donor state by capita per capita. Wow! Um, so I think we're just behind Alaska and uh, Vermont. So get a few more donations out there, and maybe we can overtake one of those guys. Uh, so, we, yeah, you said uh, Alaska is in the lead, which I would have not, I would not have thought that. Vermont, I could see. I, yeah, I, I no, could see funny. that one. Um, I mean, it's, it's another hotbed for um, both cross country and ski jumping um, in Anchorage up there. So Really? Yep. It's a big, I have a big community there, kind of like here. I had no idea. This is amazing to me. So t talk to me about what this means to the athletes, if, if you guys can get the kind of funding you need, because when you say that it's big in Europe, we really need to explain it's rock star level. Big. Right. I mean, all all our competitions this year are over in Europe. Um, there are, the younger guys will have their World Junior Championships here, but otherwise, uh, we're heading out very soon to get on the road, and that's where that's the hotbed of the sport. That's where the other athletes are, um, and so it's really important as you're developing as an athlete to get over to Europe to the venues to train there and to get the competition uh, experiences and the national team can't provide all that that's where the National Nordic Foundation steps in um, and because of that I've been able to be competing traveling overseas for since I was a teenager and um, it's bridging that gap where the, we, we couldn't do it without the NNF yeah, you, when you talk about this, uh, the, the costs of doing of competing on an international stage are, right. are astronomical, for one thing. But uh, to be able to compete uh, on, a, on a have a level playing field when you're talking about uh, such a precise sport, having enough skis with the right all the waxes that you need and all the different uh, gear that goes along with it, it gets costy pretty quick. Right, there's a lot that goes into it. It's a lot of equipment and um, being on the road, it definitely it, it adds up. Um, but we're able to do it, and we're, you know, we're incredibly grateful of that. And you're incredibly competitive now, which I think is something that we, we got to talk about because the results for the U.S. team have been, I mean, so remarkably better than just a few years ago. Right. In the last six years, we've had uh, Olympic and World Championship medals in both uh, Nordic combined and cross-country skiing. Um, we've had under-23 championships medals. Um, uh, junior um, junior world championships and uh, youth Olympic champion wow. medalist. Um, so we're right up there with Norway, Germany, the best countries in the world. Yeah, I mean this is unheard of. If we were talking ten years ago, yeah, we would be. We're way down the list. You know, maybe it's a little longer than ten, but a decade or two ago, we would not have been been thinking about getting up there in that group. Yeah, in and this many time. And it really, it a lot of it goes to. Um, the National Nordic Foundation and having that um, gap bridged by and athletes like me are able to stay in the sport and move from the local level to the regional to the, the national team and that's that's been everything to have yeah. that. Opportunities, having more, comp you know, more of us here in the states competing. Yeah. That means uh, the competitive pool is deeper. Yeah. We find the Builds. best athletes. 
that there's a big difference there. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you get the momentum going, and we, we want to just keep that going and see how far we can take it and the skiing in the U.S. How do we do that? What, what do, again, what do folks need to do? It's as easy as just donating 25 bucks. Right. Yeah, so right now you can go to uh, nationalnordicfoundation.org. You can donate either to uh, Ski Jumping and Nordic Combined or Cross Country. Um, either way, um, it's going to go towards funding programs like uh, World Junior Championships, development camps, um, European training opportunities for um, development teams. Um, and then tell some friends, you know, get out there, share it on That's your Facebook, really about. share it with your yeah. friends, send an email, and uh, spread the word. And then, um, you know, if you're a parent out there, look to the Utah Olympic Park to get your kids involved. It's a, it's a great it's just a great community to be involved in. Well, it's a great healthy community exactly. with, a, with a fun sport that everyone can do. Yep. Uh, cross country is for everyone. That's how people got around in, in yep. uh, Europe for many, many years. And surprisingly, there's, there's people that ski jump into their adulthood too. So why not? A anyone can do it. That's right. Start small. Well, I want to thank you so much for being here again, as always. Anything we left out? No, I think that's it. Thanks so much. All right. It's so the Drive for 25. Help the Nordic team uh, be competitive with those European teams. And we know that they are. They just need all the funding to help make sure that they uh, can get where they need to to prove it. So make sure you help them out. It's the Drive for 25. And uh, really, 25 bucks and telling your friends to do the same is all it takes to make sure that they have their opportunities to bring home gold. We've got a lot more happening here on the Mountain Morning Show as we jump in to hour number two right after these messages.